what are the symptoms that tell me we may be at least exploring this uh, op option? Uh, you, you said they're out of the ordinary. Uh, wh one of the, the, the first criteria is that there's a change. It's not just memory loss. So it might start off with some short-term memory, memory loss. Uh, you know, I put my keys somewhere and I can't find them. We We all do that. But when does that cross a line and become pathological? Um, and miss, you know, messing up what date it is, uh, missing appointments. Um, again, mostly short-term memory dysfunction is how it starts, but it becomes a pattern of behavior that's different from the way the patient used to be. But as things progress, there'll be personality changes. Uh, someone who used to be happy-go-lucky is now uh, very often angry and frustrated and, um, you, know, you know, lashing out, sometimes even physically at other people, and mm. that's a, a significant change for them. There can be visual hallucinations. Sometimes I like to describe it as the memory stops at a certain point in time. So if it stopped in the year 2005, it's, it's 2009 now. They'll describe something that occurred in 2005 as if it was happening today. So you might think it's a, an hallucination or a strange lapse of memory, but to them it makes sense because their memory stopped in 2005. So if I'm hearing you correctly, you're saying that the short-term memory is what's impacted. They can still remember their childhood and maybe the way they went to college. I mean, it's just the things that are happening recently are the ones that are having difficulty.